Welcome to Wesley's channel. This is Wesley and this is Wesley's news. It's a part number two of Sobod and Andre Saga. He presents a number of free energy devices, so called, that I do not advertise for him nor conform that it works as claimed. In the first video of the saga, I have very accurately explained what I think about components of the technology so for those who are interested find the video and view it first firstly we're dealing with sort of the flywheel uh, with arrangement of eight coils where two coils are tilted there are a few ways of storing temporary energy one would be the flywheel the other one would be the flyback which would be the transformer and the third one would be the capacitor. So in my first video I was pointing at ways of storing energy temporary while Sobar and Andre and Akua were entertaining us with their one milliwatt per LED self-powered free energy devices. Interesting is also to mention motivation of those individuals they play usually nice guys open sources they are tutoring educating helping explaining at the same time they don't want to say anything among the people who are mostly important is looking at those videos and thinking about easy money waiting there they think that it would be somebody with a big money who's gonna come over and pay for it well there is no patent there would be no patent so there would be nobody stupid enough to pay money for something that could be easily copied by the first client who's gonna sell it for less okay so commercial We're coming back to magnetic motor of Sobobos and Andre. Later on it was married with the electronic board and both together supposed to make one big device powering big loads and eventually the city. Okay. So you see a stack of the single slices of the magnetic motors together. And he hoped that the power will be multiplied and eventually used to part the load. Question is, what power are we talking about? Temporary stored power? Let's go further. Let's see. One of the first experiments he made was cutting an alternator or generator from the gasoline operated saw or machine and couple it with electrical motor and in the middle he's gonna put magnetic motor hoping that something is gonna work Every electrical motor could work as a generator. It is up to us whether we deliver the power to electrical motor so it can be consumed or we deliver the rotation to electrical motor and then the motor will become a generator. So now we have a dials with the voltage. The problem that I have here is we see the voltage we don't see the current and power is voltage time current very easy way to represent power consumed by the load or dissipated by the load is to employ number of incandescent light bulb pure resistive load and show that it's really giving a bright light 
So yes, we do see in here number of incandescent light bulb. We don't know the value of them. Consumption of energy we could show by current time voltage in time frame. So it would be watts per hour, mostly, or kilowatts per hour, whatever. Okay. So for me, the electronic board looks like a device that stored the energy in the capacitor, whatever the energy came from, it doesn't matter. The electric, the magnetic motor, first, the energy from the fingers being used to push it, and eventually that magnetic motor goes into the high-speed rotation because there is no load on it yet. Then, when it goes to rotation, what they say about 6,000 RPM, somehow the load is being connected to it, or either the manually or whichever. As you see, the motor now is rotating, and the plug from the light bulbs is on the side. Now he's putting it back. So now he knows, okay, there is enough of stored um, angular momentum. Actually, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, let's put it this way. There. So now I can use it. So the small energy from electronic boards uh, is being delivered to the generator. The generators are in creating the impulses. <coughs> the impulses are delivered to magnetic motors. And in each one of the set of eight coils, two coils are tilted. So the co two coils work as a push-pull generator circuit. The rest of the coils, which would be the sixth one, are being used to generate electrical current. So when you have a rotation in a magnetic field, then you create a current flowing through the coils. Simple like that. But because the motor is rotating, then you have that additional amount of reserve of energy in case something goes wrong. How we got to understand the power used equals power delivered plus losses. There is no free lunch unless they found a way to do it. To do it. So far, I see extremely high efficiency set and. Later on, you're going to see the videos that would show how much of interest it creates among the people with money. Andre is taking apart his motor, showing that nothing is hidden there. Well, on the rotating part, you have only magnets. The interesting part is the stator when you have those uh, coils winded. And uh, in some part of this video, you would see those modules graphically represented. And I understand they badly want money, and uh, uh, it's. Uh, kind of difficult to sell something that doesn't have a patent yet and there would be no patent for it. There's no such thing as over unity devices or perpetual motion devices. However, there are devices that works with the energy over unity. But energy must come from something. So everything that is over unity is illusion. But it works. In other words, 
if you have a 10 bucks in your pocket and I give you a hundred bucks you have a hundred bucks of reunity you don't care about who pay for that hundred bucks of reunity as long as it doesn't cost you additional effort so solar energy wind gravity thermal and electrostatic pump theory it's my theory first you have to deliver a certain amount of force we were talking about 15 girls pushing the car we were talking about this guy using two devices and first delivering the power then eventually using the energy stored to compensate the losses but we don't know how long the device is going to work in terms of Akua Kapanadze and Ruslan and plenty of others we're dealing with something extremely interesting I've been in Kapanadze house and there was no hoax so you have a difference of potential uh, and we deliver impulses high voltage impulses what we're doing is we are actually doing the same like this guy is doing with the motor just in very short intervals of, of times he's pushing it when i was talking about the holes connected to the gasoline tank I was saying that one push with your mouth eventually is enough for the flow of the fluid to be switched and handled by the gravity so we need the third force something that we don't have to pay for but there is no free lunch guys if you have a, such a force if you are able to make it and do it then you are on the right track so I have a message to Akua and Ruslan Ruslan and Akua if you want to buy the money I come and I'm good I don't want to buy it it's not Russia there is no corruption but no I don't have corruption я добрю, у вас найдутся заказчики. Я с ними бизнес не буду делать. Мне наплевать. Но бабки найдутся. А все остальное ваше дело. Thank you very much, guys. In other words, you see right now on the screen the guy who has magnetic motor, the heater, the fan and the set of lamps but now you see nothing question is did he found what the third source of energy that we don't have to pay for is able to handle his device because Tariel Kapanaza did so and I was there and I witnessed that this is Wesley and this was Wesley's news see you next time